Well, we're back here in southeast Louisiana after a wonderful Cajun invasion. Of course, a hot, muggy, and rainy Louisiana day. Let's put on some salmon on the smoker. We caught some Kenai sockeye salmon. They consider this the filet mignon of salmon. You can see how red it is here. What we did with it, we brined it first. Brining fish is very important when you smoke it. The majority of this brine was a cup of sugar, half a cup of salt, and a quarter cup of soy sauce. Put that in the water that we submerged the fish in. Just want enough water in there to cover it overnight. Let it soak up for a few hours or overnight if you have the time. As you can see, we've got some seasoning on there. Brown sugar and whatever Cajun seasoning you like. Sprinkle that on top and it is ready to go into the smoker. We've got our smoker set on a low temperature. That's gonna keep it from drying out. Also, that brine's gonna prevent it from drying out. We're gonna close this baby up, let it do some work, let it smoke for about two hours and come back and check it out. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. So our salmon is complete. We smoked it for about two hours at a low temperature. You can of course smoke it at lower temperatures for longer periods of time or if you don't have the time you can actually get it done in about an hour. It's beautiful, gorgeous red sockeye. You can see that glaze really did a nice job. You'll know the fish is done when it creates kind of almost a hard glaze on the surface. That's encapsulating all the moisture from the fish and when you break into it, it's going to flake. So this is 100% done, beautiful meat there. No juice is really flowing out of it. They're all kind of into the meat. Looks delicious. And then what I'm going to pair it with is just a nice little summer salad with some Sal and Judy's balsamic vinaigrette. I've got a spring salad mix here. I'm going to mix that up, plate it up, and get to work. So it's a light, simple, and delicious summer dish. You can, of course, use any kind of salmon, whether it's store-bought or caught yourself. We've got that sockeye here or the red salmon that was caught on the Kenai River. But again, you can use king salmon, you can use pink salmon, you can use silver salmon. It all tastes just as good. From our kitchen, from Alaska to Louisiana.